Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a little bit of a bonus video. I don't think anyone was expecting to hear from me today, but hey, I thought why not? So you may have missed it on Friday if you're not into your Hoya, but I did basically an update on just all the Hoya that I bought a while ago. I thought it'd be really rude not to give you a really random update video, basically on just bits and bobs that I've been buying. Now, some of this you've seen in hauls, some of it you've never seen before, some of it I've had for years and years and years. Honestly, it's hard to even say. Some of it you've seen me repot. What else have we got? Some of it's just something really nice I found in the shop that's growing well. We've got a little bit of variegation, a little bit of super rare, a little bit of darkness, a little bit of corrugation, a little bit of blue. There's a lot to get through. I'm not gonna keep you any longer. We're gonna get started. Right, I'm just gonna pick stuff up. I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm gonna pick stuff up. So if any of you may remember, I did a variegated haul a while ago, maybe two, three months ago, where I bought a few things in. It ended in disaster. That was the video where I snapped a leaf and it was a very expensive leaf and I haven't quite recovered. So in that video, I bought a variegated skin dapsus, uh, pictus? Exotica? I don't know. I bought the Mayari, I think it's called. I just wanted to give you a quick update because it's grown in a new leaf and while not what I wanted, it's not the worst. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and I'm going to talk you through what I'm going to do kind of as a seller. I guess that's kind of useful to you. Maybe, right? Maybe not. I don't know. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you that there. So you may say the bottom leaf and the next leaf was basically what I purchased and this is the newest leaf here. So I'll start with the good things. It has sized up very quickly, I might add. This is a very good thing. So that's nice to see. Now, there is variegation here, as you may be able to see, but it's not this, right? It's not all of this. This is obviously all maximum, you know, the maximum amount of layers in the leaf that could be variegated are variegated. So let's just say there's three layers. This would mean here, very much like a variegated Monstera, that this has three layers of variegation. This one here at the top, this newest one, it's kind of looking like it has one, which isn't so good. I'll show you the back of the plant, hopefully. Obviously, if you see anything, it's moss, by the way, there's no pests or anything, but there you go. So there is some variegation going into this leaf, but it's not quite as you would want it, obviously. If you buy something like this for yourself and you don't care about propagating it and you just want to grow it out and you don't really care, I imagine that is not too many of you because everybody wants to preserve the variegation considering we paid a lot of money for it, right? If you just want to do that, this is no problem. Ignore what I'm saying, there are no problems here. But if you want to sell it or propagate it or keep the variegation or make it bushy or whatever, this is coming up to a time where you should probably cut it. So what I'm going to do is, Basically, can you see where the aerials are starting to come in here? Yes, you kind of can. I'm either going to let this one come to fruition or this one, and then I'm going to cut it. And I might cut it a couple of times, and I'm essentially going to try again to see if we can get better variegation. So it's not a great result, but it's not the worst result. And at the end of the day, there is some variegation continuing through there. It's just not what we're looking for. It's not that gorgeous white color that's on the bottom. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, yes, this will be cut. I'm not going to cut it straight away because I'm not in any immediate rush with this, right? I just have this. It was an experiment to see how we did with it. I'm just going to wait for these roots to fully come in, which they're not a million miles off. Things grow quite quickly in here, obviously. So we'll wait to see what happens. We will chop it. We will propagate it again. I'll probably then cut it back to a node on this base plant, and then we will have another go, see what we can get to happen. I'm going to give you the blue update that everybody loves. Everyone seems to love this plant. I can't remember how I found this plant. Did I just scroll down Instagram and find it? I think I probably told you guys at the time when I hauled this plant, I don't know where I saw it, but I saw it and I had to have it. And basically I bought a Microsorum Thailandicum, which I think is just basically a blue oil fern. And I believe it comes from Thailand, hence the name. But I wanted to show you a little update on it. It's still blue. It feels like it's a slightly less blue than what it was. I've had to give it a quick wipe because it had pollen all over it. But let me just show you up close what this looks like. Yeah, okay, so I said it wasn't blue. Um, it, it totally is. <laughs> How amazing is that? This is no camera trickery, by the way. This is literally what this plant looks like. Yes, it is this blue. This is completely and utterly real. Just to show you next to my skin tone, so you can tell I'm not pulling any trickery on you. This is literally what it looks like. He or she is growing in pond, pure pond at the minute. I think I have some in Lekka. I bought a few more in and I don't know where they are in the shop which isn't a good sign. It might mean they've died. I don't think they have. I think they might be poking around in a tray on one of the high, you know, the high shelves somewhere. 
But I do have more of these and I, I was supposed to be growing them out for you guys, but I, I will check on them. Keep pestering me about it on Instagram and I will check them. But how pretty is he? There was an update quite recently about this plant on my Instagram, maybe within the last couple of months, but I thought, hey, I'll show you again on camera because sometimes you just, you just need to see things on camera. You know, you need to see how it moves, you need to see how it reacts to the light, you need to see me moving it, no filters. You just need to see that sometimes. And I get it, I totally appreciate that. And I'm here to do that. So I'm still loving him. He's got quite considerably bigger, I think. He's definitely coming in nice and blue. I believe the blue is a light thing. I don't know if it's heat or light or both, but isn't he great? Isn't he just the best? I think I need another one. I think I need another one. Just in case anything happens to this guy, because he's beautiful. But what if something happens? Do you ever get like that when you fall in love with a plant and you love it so much and it is perfect and it is all you'd ever need? But there's part of you that just thinks, I should probably get another one in case this one dies. Is that just me? I think that's what used to happen with me with certain plants. Like Florida Ghost, for example. I used to do that all the time. I had about four of them. Let's do some Anthurium because I have a few. I, I literally have a few. Again, this is no particular order, guys. I'm really just picking them up as I go along. But I really want to show you this Anthurium. Oh, do it on this side. This Anthurium Crystallinum Red. So it is Anthurium Crystallinum, but this one grows a little bit differently. And you should be able to tell if I hold this up to the camera, in case anyone didn't know. The petiole insertion is very red, and this whole thing is quite purpley and dark, and you can just tell it's very different to a normal Crystallinum. Now, when they harden off, they look a little bit different, but admittedly, they do become a little bit more like a regular crystal. I still like these, though, because honestly, these leaves stay like this for quite a long time. So if I just turn it round, maybe, maybe you can see some of the back there. Yeah, it's quite a lot different, really. Very, very beautiful plant. Again, I won't spend too long on it, but I want to show people this because I think that it's good to see if things like this are worth it. For example, this Anthurium here is high treble figures, whether it's UK, EU, or, or maybe even US, I'm not sure. It's quite a lot of money, whereas obviously a regular crystal is, I think, high double digits, sometimes mid double digits now. You can get them very cheap. So here's your indication as to whether it's worth it or not. I would grab a normal crystal, but I'm overrun and I'm pretty sure they've grown into each other. So I probably can't grab it that quick. But I just wanted to show you this, just so you see what that looks like. And we'll pop him down. Right, next up, very quickly, just because I have hoard him out on my Instagram a little bit, but I'd like to whore him out again because he's beautiful. And again, I want you to see what these things look like in real life and not just a photograph because it helps you make choices, right? This is my stunning, stunning Anthurium Luxurians. And I'm going to show you him up to the camera first, and then I'm going to speak a little bit about him. So as long as he focuses, look at that. Holy shit, that's good. Oh, that's good, isn't it? So I'm getting a bit excited there, literally. <laughs> Honestly, it's all this weightlifting. It's making me quite grunty. Right, beautiful plant, right? Beautiful plant. Now, I've said previously that this plant isn't that difficult. I'm not taking it back, but I want to reassess it a little bit while we're on about it. And I will just do this very quickly. So if you're not interested, stick with me for a minute. We'll get through it. Previously, I thought this plant was a little bit easier than what it was. What I'm finding is I have one or two down here in the studio that grow in these conditions. And it seems very, you know, a lot happier than what this one does upstairs. Because full transparency, this looks beautiful right now. Clearly, I've been at it with the scissors, okay? The old leaves got very crispy around the edge and they don't like it. Now, it could just be this one in this pot. It's probably long overdue, a repot. It's in, um, I think it's in a mixture of liquor and pond, but it's mainly pond, so that could be what's causing it. It could just be too bright up there. There could be many, many things. So as far as I'm concerned, down here, they grow beautifully. And I mean beautifully. They don't even crisp up or anything. They're gorgeous. But upstairs, not so much. Let me know if you've got any findings about this plant, but I'll show it to you one more time. How pretty is he? That is ridiculous. And literally, head test, he's quite big. He's very beautiful though, as you know. So we'll pop him down. I just wanted to let you know that I have some more thoughts. So you may remember, uh, late last year, I had some very special plants shipped into me from NSC Tropicals. They were mine, they belonged to me, um, and I had them shipped over. Some of them you will see in a moment. Those will be the variegated Gloriosum that I bought. The bits of them anyway. I've got like 10 million around the shop, just in different stages of either variegation or reversion. Very unstable plant. Um, but I also bought 
a Anthurium Delta Force. And this is half of it. Some of you may have seen on the Rare Plant Shop's Instagram, the other half is actually upstairs, just growing itself out and it's growing really well. So I have two of them now. That's four, I don't know why I'm doing this. I have two of them now. I'm gonna pick this one up and show you. I'm just a bit scared shitless of it because it's got a new leaf coming and I'm, I'm, I'm not the best with new leaves, am I? Just be honest with ourselves. So I'll pick it up and show you. It looks a bit tatty, but if you remember when I got it in, it also looked tatty. It didn't do very well in shipping. There's a lot of shipping damage on this. So as you may be able to see, I'll have to stand back with this one. Yes, there's been a little bit of choppy chop on the leaves. I can see a spider on the floor. Fuck you. Please don't move. Um, so anyway, I've done a bit of choppy choppy on the leaves occasionally for different reasons, but here is the new leaf coming in. So I just want to show you that really quickly and I will not linger on this one at all. I'm going to try and hide me with this leaf, but the leaf's actually not big enough to hide me with. Uh, hopefully that's doing it. I don't know if it's focusing. I'll just have to trust that it is. So that's really cool. It is growing. The other one looks better, funny enough, even though I chopped the hell out of it. The other cool thing is, I don't know if you'll see this either. Can you see it? Yes, you probably can. It just might not focus on it, but there is actually a flower coming in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At the moment, I'm on a mission to get another type of plant, perhaps Clarinervium, not sure yet, to have a bit of a very soon uh, in the night, you know, <laughs> to see if we can get anything pregnant. So best of luck with that. Hopefully everything lines up. I have a friend that might be able to get me some Clarinervium pollen. I have a Clarinervium kind of off shot on camera that is going to flower, but I think it's way too far off. It's just not going to hit right. Fingers crossed, guys this all goes well and it meets another plant and it likes it and it does the dirty and there is a pregnancy. So I don't know what's going to happen with that, but my gosh, it's a beautiful plant, is it not? I probably didn't do it justice there at all. I probably showed the tattiest parts of it. I apologize. Trust me, it's beautiful. When I get some good new leaves on the other plant, I will take better pictures of it and put it on Instagram because that's not a very good way of doing it justice. It's not the last anthurium, but it's kind of like the second last anthurium. So we'll do it. And it is a favorite of the channel. It is, loads of people like this one. It is, of course, Mysterious Dark Boy. Now, I still don't know what he is. I'm still waiting for a flower to know for sure. So I can't give you a concrete idea yet, but I just wanted to give you an update on him. Now, before I hold him up, because he's very heavy, this is why I'm talking a little bit more now. He has been chopped because I have propagated him for the shop because I've sold bits of him here or there, which he may or may not have seen on the website. I'm not sure. I'm gonna hold him up. So he has been chopped, but I don't think he's been chopped very recently. So it's taken him a little while to get back to his former form of glory, but he's hot, right? Let me pick him up because I feel like he's heavy. Is he heavy? No, oh, I've had worse. I've certainly had worse this week. Let me try and move back with him again. He's rather large and I will have to stand with him in a certain way. Can you see this? Oh my God, oh my God. I appreciate by the way that the background isn't the best background to show these plants on because you can need a contrast, but I figured why would we not use the living wall, right? So if I just come up to the camera with this absolute Brutus, Check that out. Oh my God. There is a newer leaf here as well that's right near my face that's still dark. And the older ones that I think came in either over winter or they're just really old. I think definitely this one was a winter leaf, I think. And it's still dark. It's just not, you know, dark, dark. But I must say it takes a very, very long time for these things to go green. Like this smaller leaf here that's come in, this will be like this for ages. Like if anyone's got one or anything similar to this plant, you'll know how long they stay like this for. This plant is just working its way onto my head. But I just want to show you how amazing that is. I do that. It's so hard to show this plant. It's not even the, the most cumbersome plant I've got to show you today as well. Let me try and put it in front of the camera again. Just so you can really get a sense of, oh my Lord, that might have to be a thumbnail, you know? Holy shit, that's really nice. I love doing videos like this because I get like 10 different thumbnails to choose from. That is so, so hot. So that is him. That is what I like to call on this channel, Mysterious Dark Boy. No, he doesn't have an ID. He doesn't have any flowers coming or does he? Oh my God, is that a flower? No, I don't think it's a flower. Um, he's got nothing coming in yet, but in time he will. And then we will know what he is for sure. But I just think we're gonna have to wait till he flowers, guys. The next plant I would love to show you is right here in my arms. This is my Alocasia reticulata. And for some reason, everyone is low-key obsessed with this plant. Now, I'll tell you a quick story about how I got this plant. I've had this plant for years and I've had this plant from a plug. And honestly, this plant should be a lot bigger by now. That's not 
a, a good um, hallmark of this plant because I think I got it in like 2019. So it, it should be a shit ton bigger, but it's been through the mill and it's survived. So it's actually quite tough. Even my Sabrinas have died, to be honest. So for anyone that doesn't know, it looks a lot like an Alocasia Sabrina, but as you may notice, these leaves look a bit different. It's not chlorotic or viral. This is genuinely how it grows. So if I just show you, can you see that there? I mean, admittedly that needs like, you know, that looks like it needs a bit of a feed, but you get my point here. That's a little bit better. These leaves are quite old. They're coming in okay though. Let me show you that there. So I repotted this a while ago. I didn't do it on camera because I was scared and I just thought, no, I'm just gonna repot it on my own. It'll take me 10 minutes. I can have a look at the roots. I can take my time and I can do it. And I honestly thought when I put it into this pot, it was going to die. I don't know why I just did. It had hardly any root on it. I just thought this, this is just no good. I'll save it now. I do have some pups of these luckily. So if anything happened, it'll be fine. I think I maybe have two pups, but it hasn't died. It's like clearly thriving. Can you see this? How awesome is that? These plants are just screwing with my hair today. Look at that. Newest one is this big floppy one up top, I think. That one there that just wants to flop around. Really, really cool plant. I just don't know how many people care about this, admittedly. The price difference from this and a normal Zabrina depends if you care, to be honest. If I lost this, I don't think I'd be super sad. I'd be sad because I've grown it for a long time and obviously I'm very proud of it, but in terms of getting another reticulata versus just a Zabrina, I'd probably just get a Zabrina. And that's just being honest. But I will show you it up again. I can't show you that new leaf very well. It doesn't want to be shown, does it? Sorry, I'm, I can't tip it too much, obviously. There. It's quite large though, if you can, if you have any sense of how big my hands are. It's turning into a bit of a beast, is it not? There we go. Little bit of focus there. So yeah, he's really, really big and pretty. I'm gonna put him down. Luckily, he's not too heavy, but I just wanted to let you know that I thought he was gonna die and he hasn't, so. It's not the update you think you needed, but here we are. Now I'm just gonna show you some really cool I found in the shop um, the other day and I thought it was so cute and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna show this because I just, I love this plant and this plant does get a lot of press. It's still a very good collector's plant. I haven't been selling enough of it. I have a reasonable amount of it that I've just propagated and I guess I just haven't been selling it. But anyway, this here, woo, this, this needs a pole is what this needs. Look, this needs propagated, look at this. Don't know about you guys growing these things at home, but without poles, I get aerials like this. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. And honestly, that is the best way to propagate these things. I know I've said this 101 million times, but if you want to propagate Florida Beauty or Florida Ghost, please get some aerials. I'm not saying it can't be done otherwise, but if you're worried about losing, you know, the bits you're trying to propagate, please, please get aerials before you cut. Really important. If you get aerials before you cut, your chances of them being fine just go up astronomically. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this. This is the newest leaf and it's very pretty. If you didn't know about this plant, the leaves tend to come in a little bit more greeny yellow and they will harden off to these older leaf colors here. So I'll show you an older one. Looking very pretty. And I'll show you the newer one. I can't get my hand in it. There, see that? So it is a little bit different, but it will harden off. If it doesn't harden enough, guys, then you might need to bump your light. That's the best advice I could give you. Beautiful plant, is it not? I can't even get in the frame with it and make it look like good. It's a little bit all over the place. As I say, this is probably gonna be propagated. It's, I mean, I should pull one, I should. I hear you, I hear your voice, I should. I just haven't got around to it. And I can't pull one of everything in this shop. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh, I know what we can do. I'm looking at him right now. He's been through a bit of a journey, this plant. So I've never, ever, ever, I don't think in a long time held this plant up for you. I think he's been sort of in like the side of videos when I've done tours upstairs in the studio and stuff, but I don't think I've ever actually shown you him. Does that make sense? Not in a long time. Now this plant, <laughs> this plant gave me a bit of shit when I, um, when I got it in actually, because I think that was my first experience on the internet of People being dickheads, as we like to call them in the UK. It's people being assholes. So basically at the time I bought a Philodendron Spiritus Sancti in, and I, this was so long ago, wasn't it? It was in like 2019. Basically the internet accused me of making it up. So I, why not have my moment? I'm gonna show you the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti and I'm gonna talk about him because I've cut from him. I nearly lost him about 5 million times. He went back to nearly a stump. He should be bigger than what he is, given how long I've had him, and I totally get that. But let's just grab him, and then I can talk about him. So here he is. Okay, I'll stand back with him. You will notice he's not as big as he should be. I think for now he should be... I would say he should be quite, you know, quite lengthy, should we say? But he's doing all right. So I'm going to turn him to the side so you can see what's happening with him. So... <laughs> 
This is so weird. I'm going to have to just try and steady him. Can you see that there? That's the best I can do to show you. So you may or may not notice, and I am trying my best to get it to focus on the plant. It doesn't seem to want to. Come on. There. You may be able to spot a couple of growing points. There's one here. There's one here. I think there's another one further back as well. And there's one here. This plant actually has three growth points on it. Now, I don't know why. I don't get it, but it, it's kind of vigorous. It's had aerials that have come in that I've kind of gently over time, like took them down and put them in the pot, things like that, just to get it growing. Because seriously, do you want to know the level of anxiety I've been living with for the past three years? More, more than three years. See this here? See this? This single root going from the base of the plant? That single root created obviously a network of roots beneath it. But that was the single root holding the entire plant alive for the entire time that I've had this plant. You don't know fear. You don't know fear like that, honestly. Now, obviously, I know these plants have been tissue cultured since. This is not one of those plants, as you may remember. This was this was so long ago. It was way before they were tea seed. So he's quite special to me. And he, he could have died like six or seven times. So I'm kind of pleased he hasn't. So he looks quite bushy, given he's young. And he's got a, a kind of an array of different leaves. Like this is from one growth point here. And this is from a different one. So they're looking a lot different from each other, but it's different growth points. Does that make any sense? So he is kind of weird in that sense, but it does mean he's going to be really bushy and nice, which is always a plus. Should we do some seeds, some seedlings? Is it a seedling? It's a bit small to be a seedling, but I guess it qualifies as germinated seeds, shall we? Now I have to remember what these are. <laughs> I think I've written it on the tag. Let's just grab these. This may not interest you at all, and that's fine. I will whiz past it, don't worry. So here, <laughs> but just show to the camera when it wants to focus. There you go. These are, if I can read my label properly, Colocasia hybrid. It is acid warlock crossed with AH0983, uh, I think that says. And I got the seeds a little while ago and I've been sprouting them essentially. And they are getting there now. They're starting to look a little bit more like Colocasia. I know, yes, at the moment they look a bit like Cress. See how close I can get them up to the camera. There you go. But they're looking all right, aren't they? Obviously, it's going to be quite a bit of time before we see what form they take. Um, I will try and put pictures, you know, here and here of the two parents and tell you which ones they are. If you fancy leaving a comment on what you think the, the end result is going to look like, that could be really cool. And I guess we just have to play the waiting game now. We just have to play the waiting game. Or, of course, it could just be Cress and then I get scammed. But we can all follow it together, right? And we can laugh at it. I'd rather you laughed at me than me laugh at someone else getting scammed over it. So I don't think that's going to happen, by the way. I'm joking about that. That's, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm actually really excited to see what happens with these. So once more for the camera, please focus. How dare you? There we go. That is those. I do have some other seeds of a different type of colocasia that are germinating, but they're not as far along as these. So they're not as interesting. So I'll leave these. I have a couple of other things to show you now. One of them is really special and one of them has never been on this channel before. I told you I was going to get one, but I kept quiet on it because I wanted to see if it was stable or not. But we'll get to it in a minute. I might save it for last, actually. I'll save it for last. Right, let's get a really pretty looking Whipple, shall we? This is literally just a Whipple propagation I have in my shop, by the way. It is nothing special. It's not mine. I will show you mine in a second. That's the next Whipple I'm going to show you. But I just have to show you the colour on this. I'm going to try and hold it up to the camera and not get basically lecker everywhere. Give me one moment because I have to show you the colour, guys. Colour is fantastic. Just for those of you that don't understand how nice these Whipples can go. Can you see this? There we go. Have you seen how amazing that is? Literally. I can't do more than that, I'm afraid, because I will drop it but it's gone the most beautiful baby pink color. I can't even begin to tell you. I don't really want to sell this one. I think I might have to keep it. I'm not saying it is, but imagine if this one was just more pink than the others. And as a seller, you kind of got to be prepared to plan for that, if that makes sense. You've got to try and hedge your bets sometimes to say and, and not sell something. So that's what I'm thinking with this one. I'm going to keep it growing and see what happens because it hasn't even gone white in a hurry. It stayed really, really pink. Obviously, you can you might be able to tell this was the bottom of, you know, this, it's had a head cutting and then this is the bottom of the plant. But it's just so nice. See if I can show you one more time. Come on. Look at that. Oh, come on. 
No, it doesn't want to focus, but you saw it the first time and I know it was in focus. So yeah, I just want to show you that really quickly because it's really adorable. And this is the older leaves of the Whipple that are still looking very, very minty, as you can see. This one's turning a little bit greener. Oh, fun fact, by the way, I forgot about this. After my Dish the Dirt video, right? This is the most random shit ever. After my Dish the Dirt video I did on, you know, the return of the Congo and the white Congo and the Birkin and the Dark Lords, everything, I had, a, I had a bunch of people bombard my Instagram and my shop telling me that I sold chemically induced plants. And they were talking about these because they thought they were chemically induced. Either they thought they were chemically induced or they were just trying to ruin my day. I don't know. But I, I'm here to tell you that they're not chemically induced. They grow like this. This is how the plant grows. There's a really good example when I pick up mine and you will see the journey of the leaves a little bit more. So I'm going to do that now. He's a little bit wet because he, he kind of got the holes on him, to be honest, but he's, he's fine. And this is really heavy to hold up, but I will try and tip him a little bit. So can you see this boy? Because this boy is beautiful. This is the one I potted up on camera. I don't even know when. It was a while ago, wasn't it? I'll try and tip him, but this, this guy's pretty heavy. There. I'm not gonna be able to focus on him very well because I have to still be able to see what is in the frame and I cannot. Can you see there? So if you look at this new, beautiful new leaf here, new leaves come in a pinky color. And then over time they will fade to a creamy color and then on the bottom the bottom leaf that's right at the bottom of the frame there they start to go a green color and then the older leaves are green this is a genuine whipple i mean they all are in the shop by the way but this is how they grow this is totally normal it's not chemical this is them this is like the best you could hope for if you want leaves like this so i'll tip it up one more time because honestly guys this is this is not happening today literally I need to do a few more personal training sessions. Isn't he lovely though? He's grown quite a bit. I thought he would take to the pole a bit quicker and he hasn't done it, you know. There is a couple of roots, but nothing to really write home about. So I guess we'll wait and see. So if your Whipple is not behaving this way, get a heat mat or something, get the room a bit warmer. Humidity is not really a thing, but light absolutely is. Bash that shit under a grow light and you should get better results from it. So if you get a Whipple and it's a bit more minty green, seriously, light, light will do it. Heat will help, but light will do it as well. So please feel free to give that a go. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple of Gloriosum, variegated Gloriosum. Now, there are three I can see, so I'll just do three. I do have other ones in the shop. Some of them are absolutely tiny, like tiny little um, leaves grown from little chunks. I'm not gonna show you them because I think there's some in there and I think there's some over there. I've just picked out some. And it's a very transparent representation of variegated gloriosum because some of them have gone all yellow, some of them are nearly all green. It's a bit of a mix. So I'm gonna show you that because these are all taken from my mother plants that I brought in. And I say my mother plants, really it's all one big mother plant. So let me just show you. I'll run through these pretty quickly. This one, uh, you might remember this one when I got it. It was uh, destroyed in shipping a little bit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fucking spider. <laughs> You know what that spider was? Do you remember ages ago when there was a spider over there and I said, don't, don't you move, you know, stay there, fuck you. It moved and it decided it was gonna climb onto that pot and I nearly shit a brick, where's it gone? You can stay over there, literally. <sighs> okay, so I'll try not to freak the fuck out again. You probably didn't see it on camera. I don't think I lifted this pot up enough. Will you go? Will you go? Anyway. <laughs> so you might remember this. This, I think, I think this was the leaf when I got it in and it was battered to high heaven. It, it basically looked like this. This is that, anyway, part of that plant. I gave it another go and I think it came out with an all green leaf. So it was time to cut it. This is the newest leaf. It looks like it needs a feed, but we have a tiny slither of variegation on the bottom. So that's what we've got out of one. Honestly, you probably can't see. Can you see that a little bit better? The tip that you can see variegation on the stem. Sorry, I know it's not focusing the best today. Um, so I have high hopes for it. This will probably get cut again. We'll try again, try and boost the variegation, but this is one cutting anyway. It could be a lot better. It could be a lot better. So pop him down. Where's he gone now? Literally, I don't know where he went. Oh. <laughs> I'm very lucky, by the way, that when that happened, I didn't just drop 
the variegated gloriosum. And I think the only reason I didn't drop it was because it was a variegated gloriosum. Anyway, next plant, oh, honestly, I had plans for this leaf, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna make it in time. So this one's great, as you can see. This was the original leaf. I've cut it and I've immediately gone for double yellow. This one is melting away because it's what they do. And this one is starting to turn. Now I wanted to preserve this in resin. And I'm gonna be doing a video very soon on just that. So it's kind of a how-to. Well, it's not really a how-to. I'm just gonna narrate it and tell you what I've done to do it. But as recording this, I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna try and do it on Wednesday, but already the leaf's turning a little bit, so I might not do it. And we'll see what happens, but I'll just show you anyway, the nice yellow leaf. So it's beautiful and it's, it's variegated, not ill, if that makes any sense. But unfortunately, it's too much. Can you see the stem? Maybe if it focuses. Yeah, you can kind of see the stem there. Plenty of variegation in it, but we have to chop it and we have to try again. And to be quite honest, this is too much variegation. This is exactly what you don't want. You don't want this. Plants can't sustain themselves. Please don't buy plants like this, by the way. I don't care what kind of variegated whatever it is. Don't do this. This will happen to you forever. It will die. Plants need chlorophyll. I know most of you know this, but they do. Don't be doing it. Next plant, same thing, bit smaller. Much better though. So I'll show you this guy. I'll just tip him straight up. Oh, please, no, please, no. Is it gonna focus? Oh Lord. I don't think it's focusing, is it? It doesn't seem to want to. Can we focus? There, can you see that? I think this one is the newest. Yes, this one that is still a bit yellowy is the newest. This very gay gloriosum, by the way, is very odd. It's very odd because it hardens off to a creamy white color, but a lot of the time it stays yellow. And it's just wild, to be honest. If I show you this, it's the same plant, by the way. It's just all one mother. I know you guys probably know this. There, it's, it's come out quite white. I oh, know, sorry, it's not focusing. Um, and the other one's a bit yellowy. I just, I don't understand. They both have the same amount of light, especially with the other one I just showed you before that had all yellow leaves. Make it make sense, guys. Make it make sense. So that's him. He's doing a lot better. I do have other ones roughly this size that are kind of doing the same thing, to be honest, I would say. But they're looking really good as well. I think it's time for this massive anthurium. And then I have a very special plant at the end to show you. Let me just grab him. It takes a, it takes a hot minute, guys, to grab this thing because it's rather large. Do you remember good old Big Bill. Do you remember Big Bill? I hauled him a while ago in, I don't know what kind of haul it was. It might have been Long Boys. I don't know. Not really sure. But do you remember what he looked like? Because I can't step back much further into the wall. That's what he looks like now. He was big when I got him, don't get me wrong, but this new leaf here right in front of me is a little bit insane. <laughs> what if I can show you? The back of him's obviously not up to much, but yeah, it's that front leaf there. He's just getting a bit silly now. So I actually have to keep this plant essentially on a top shelf and just let him completely cascade over everything else. Um, nothing else works. He's just too large. He needs a space. How freaking cool is he? Look at that. He is absolutely monumental. I'm not gonna keep a hold of him for too long because it's too difficult to. And I can't even hold him like this because then you can't see him. Yeah, very quick update on him. He's doing really well. He grows really well in here as well. I would class him as being quite easy, actually. He's quite happy to just sit there, not be bothered, water now and again, and he just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I wouldn't actually say he's been fed super well either. Pretty sure he's in pure liquor. Is he in pure liquor? Yeah. Pure liquor in a self-watering pot, but I don't suppose he's had much feed, I don't think. Often things that are in self-watering tend not to get fed. I, I do things very differently. So he's doing pretty well. Obviously they call him Big Bill because he gets rather large. But I just wanted to give you an update on him because honestly his leaf is, well, it's longer than my stirrups, that's for sure. Goes from the tip of my fingers probably to where my heart is. So that's quite long, like that. It's pretty decent though, right? The last plant I have to show you today is, it's kind of special. I'm gonna introduce it before I show you it and I'll talk you through my experience with it because I think that's the best way to go forward because this plant is not cheap. This plant is not cheap. Now, I mentioned this plant, I believe it was on a wish list. I think, I can't remember, but it was this year's wish list, I think. And I said, look, I'm gonna get one and I'm gonna see how it does. And I'm gonna report back to you. So I have a little bit of a report to give. So. I ended up buying, shortly thereafter, I think a month after or less, I ended up buying a Monstera Deliciosa, what is known as a white monster, which is essentially a large form Monstera, except 
It's white, but it has just enough green on it to survive. Does this make any sense? And it comes in super white and over time more green kind of rocks up, but it doesn't all go green because it's not like a ghost version. It's bizarre. And I bought it. I bought a one leaf cutting. I have a couple of cuttings of it now because I've been sort of going at it. And I just wanted to see if it was bullshit. I wanted to see if it was bullshit. I wanted to see if it survived. I wanted to know if it was stable. I wanted to know if what I bought was real. I wanted to know all of the tea. So I'm going to show you one of some of my cuttings and I'm going to talk you through it because the one I'm going to show you has the original leaf that I bought on top. So I can show you my experience of how this works. But so far, guys, it's proving to be sustainable. It grows surprisingly very fast and it's not showing any sign of problems at all. I'm going to show you it now. Now, obviously, the, the original leaf doesn't look like the sexiest thing you've ever seen. But if I show this up to you now, we'll get to this back bit. That's the new growth. So if I just show you, oh, it's got a little root coming out of the bottom. If I show you this, right, and I'm going to try and cover my face with it, because this is quite important, this, because these cost a lot of money and I want people to know what they're getting in for. So the plant looks a bit like this. You can get whiter looking ones, I suppose. It's all much of a muchness. It's all just about how the plant behaves. Now, I don't know if there was just one white monster in existence. I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments because I haven't looked it up that far. I just knew that there was one and I wanted it. And I said this in my video. I said that I, I probably wouldn't have cared if it wasn't large form. I probably wouldn't have cared, but he is large form. And I let him grow a little bit. I let him root. I made sure he was all right. And then I chopped a little bit off his bottom nodes and I propagated him. And I've grown bits of him somewhere else. Uh, the bits of them somewhere else are doing exactly the same thing as this but again this has the mother leaf on it so i want to show you so you might think oh okay that looks a bit weird and it does i will give you that it does it's not insanely attractive but what i will tell you is it doesn't begin that way so what happens is so this is this first leaf i'm going to show you is the first leaf that popped out and as you can see this is sizing up considerably already so the first leaf that popped out Please focus camera, please, just please today. There. So the first leaf when it came out wasn't as green as this. It actually came out lily white and I thought, oh, here we go. It's just a Monstera that's too white and eventually it will just die. But over time, this greenage came in down the center and I think that's a lot of what defines a white monster. The green came in down the center and honestly, the stem of the plant is quite green. Same as, same as the mother, you can probably tell. I'm not holding it super close to the camera, but you can probably tell there. The stem is actually quite green. It's greener on one side than the other. Again, I'll try and show you it. You see that there? And I've only just recently seen this one, but this is a newer leaf here coming in with more green on it. And so far, guys, there is nothing to suggest that this isn't stable. And it's not just this plant. I've taken multiple cuttings and they're all doing the same thing. Like, I know a lot of people probably believed in this plant anyway, right? I get that. I'm obviously late to the party. I do, I do get that. A lot of people will be thinking, well, yeah, that's how it works. But I just, there's too much shit on the internet these days, guys. And I was just a bit skeptical. I still, I'm going to remain skeptical because I want to see this continuing to grow without cutting it. Does that make sense? I want to see more and more of this. I want to see how it behaves over time, but it seems to be sustaining itself absolutely fine. And it ain't just this. It's any of the other parts of it that I've cut as well. I'm looking at one now that's, again, it's whiter than this one. It seems to be sustaining itself so far. And this is totally just being transparent with you. I've had it maybe three months. It might be a bit more. I can't remember anymore. I can't remember when I even bought it, but it's going strong and they grow really fast. And I don't understand why they grow really fast because there's so much white in there. I don't get it. I don't get how it works, but I like it. And the fact that this is large form is great. This doesn't excite me too much, this appearance at the end, but I don't know if it's just gonna be this leaf. I've seen a lot of other leaves on a white monster that look a little bit nicer than that. So I am gonna wait it out. Um, I've seen a lot of leaves that genuinely just look like, obviously this one, but larger. If it's gonna focus, please. Come on, there. I've seen a lot of them that look a lot more like this. Um, let me know what you think. Let me show you this one again, just because it's there. Obviously that's coming in. So you should be able to see some white on that and a lot of green actually. That one's gonna come out a lot greener. That's it. I went and bought a white, uh, a white monster and it seems to do what it says on the tin. Who would have thought, eh? Wow, that was a really long update. This was supposed to be a quick video. I guess I just showed you too much. 
I showed you too much. Obviously, there are a ton of things that you haven't seen. Some of them it's because they're in the studio and it's just too much to bring down. Obviously, I have new leaves popping out everywhere. I'm looking at a Dubai right now that's growing on my wall. I have loads of Dubai growing on my walls, by the way. Random fact, just shingling up. It's, it's fucking awesome, honestly. Um, there's loads of bits here and there, but those are some key ones. Those are some plants that have had meaning for me along the way. Some of them are just randoms that look good. I like to think there's a good blend in there. So let me know what you think of this update video. And I guess I'll just keep it short and sweet. I'll see you on Friday, no doubt. I hope you enjoyed this bonus video. Really fancy doing it. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. If you'd like to see any more of my content and you are new here or you have not yet subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you did so. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you very soon. Bye.